Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I've been inspired and majorly inspired. Now, you know in the Purple Alphabet, I'm usually making activities for kids, for learning, and all kinds of educational things, but Glowforge has sent me their new Glowforge Aura and mind blown. I have really been busy creating my own learning activities and this machine is incredible. I have to thank Glowforge for sponsoring today's video because you are going to be amazed. when I got this and took it out of the box, it was a little intimidating and a little bit scary, but not to worry, it actually was set up in about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more, and we were up and running. We had the main machine, which is the Glowforge Aura, and that's where all the cutting and lasering is done. Here it is, this is the Glowforge Aura, which is perfect for home use, and inside is where they do all the laser cutting. That's the laser right there, and you can see I've already been doing a lot of work on it. And they also sent me the Glowforge Personal Filter, and this is great because it takes all of the odor and puts it through the filter so you don't have any smell. Alternatively, you can also run the vent hose through a window. Now the Purple Alphabet channel is meant for ideas and inspiration so that you can be inspired to do a lot of these things on your own. And many of the things I've made in this video I've actually made on my own or versions of it, but the Glowforge Aura helps me to take it to the next level and I'm very excited about the possibility. So let me show you what I've been working on. This is my first project that I did out of the box. It is a cell phone holder. I wanted to pick something really simple. On Glowforge's website, there is a catalog filled of all these different projects that you can try and I've already been designed for you. It's like the best place to start off for your first project. So I picked this one, which is a cell phone holder and the cell phone goes right here on the edge. There's even a little notch for charging port right there at the bottom and this really pretty hexagon design. I chose to do it on this plywood and it turned out to be a really nice cut, very impressed. So this got me inspired to try some Thing Montessori inspired. The Glowforge Aura can cut hundreds of materials, so really there's a lot of possibilities. They sent me a box of proof grade materials. I really like this because it was high grade materials that was already done for me. There's a special coating on the top which keeps it protected while you're doing your lasering, and there's this barcode that all you have to do is insert it into the Glowforge Aura, and the Glowforge Aura has an onboard camera that will scan it and know exactly how to cut it. So I have my laptop right here, and I'm going to design something really simple using some shapes with in Glowforge, something really basic and it's gonna work really well with this project. I wanted to make some number tokens, so I chose this light cherry plywood. I put it inside the Glowforge Aura to get started. For this one, I chose to create my own design, so I just went to the website and picked that as an option. The Glowforge Aura automatically pops up onto my screen. That's actually inside the Glowforge Aura right now because there's an onboard camera inside that allows you to see your material and position everything onto it, which is amazing. Glowforge has this whole library of different little illustrations that I could have used, but I'm just gonna be really simple because all I need is a circle and a number for these Montessori inspired number tokens. So I pick the circle here and it pops up on the screen. All I have to do is position it to where I want it, resize it to the size I want, and then I'm going to add the numbers as a text option, tons of different fonts to use, different sizes, and I just chose one that I like and added that on top of my number token. Once I got it about where I wanted it to be, all I had to do is copy and paste for the additional tokens. I'm doing one through zero, but of course I could do multiples or I can even go up higher in numbers if I wanted to. That's totally the beauty of this project is that you can make it whatever you want. So I'm gonna stick to one to zero for my first run through and I have a feeling that I'll probably come back to make some more. Then when I'm all done, up in the right hand top corner, there is a print option. Push that, the Glowforge will start glowing. I push that button and we go to town. All right, it's all done. It's time to take it out and see what we got. Here are my numbers all cut out. Plus I did some math symbols. I have the plus and the equal sign and these were so simple to do. And if I wanted to, I could add even more numbers just to have more possibilities with it. But these are gonna be great for doing simple addition problems. So I can do a three, totally hands-on activity. Where's my four? Here's the four, four. Love this. And you can see the engraving it looks so nice. So that was incredibly easy. In fact, I was really surprised at how easy it was. Now I'm inspired to get even a little bit more complicated. I'm thinking about doing a 10 frame. For this one, I went to an alternative website to try out their design software to see how I liked it better. Very simple shapes I'm using here, some squares and some rectangles and positioning everything where I want it. Then I made it into an SVG and brought it into Glowforge Aura and you can see the template right here on my screen. I added the numbers within Glowforge and did the same process over again. This is gonna make a really simple 10 frame. This one's all finished, let's go check it out. 
Once everything's done cutting, all you have to do is just take your project out. You can see that there's kind of this white film on each piece. That's the masking and that's what protects it while it's doing the lasering. So after your item is lasered and cut out, all you have to do is remove the masking to reveal the plywood underneath. Look how pretty this is. This is probably the most satisfying part of the whole process. My kids even loved watching me do this. So once I peel all of these off, I have a full set of a 10 frame and I do have to do a little bit of assembly. I got some wood glue from the dollar store and I am not a pro at the wood glue. I think I put too much. So I ended up having to take a little bit off, but all I had to do is put this on top of my base piece to assemble it, let it dry for a little bit. And that was it, you guys. I made a 10 frame. I actually think I might want to make a couple more of these so I can have some other ones too to go along with it. But all in all, this project turned out so, so good. It looks so professional. I am very impressed with myself. Can you believe I made this and here is the finished 10 frame look how cool this is and then I've got the matching numbers to go with it so these just fit right inside here so you could use this for counting in sequential order or you can take them and use the reverse size for just counting and without sequential order you can have the number three over here and say how many is three and you can put three inside you can make more numbers to suit your needs you can make more additional 10 frames I just think it looks so amazing and really, really professional. I mean, these you can use for other things too. So remember that phone holder I showed you? This one right here. All of those cutouts I kept. These are the little pieces that came out of the cell phone holder. So I could use these inside the tray itself, or I can even use these numbers like I did the other activity as manipulatives for counting. Just a cool way to use all the scraps to do some activities. Love it, very versatile. And a 10 frame you're gonna be using throughout many grades, all the way from pre-K on up. It's a, just a very good piece to, to have. The more projects I do, the more and more excited I get that I wanna try even bigger and better things. I'm gonna try acrylic. This is the proof grade acrylic. I haven't been able to cut acrylic on other machines that I have. So I'm very excited to try this because there's a lot of possibilities. I have a couple different colors. I think I'm gonna go with black for this project because I am making some tracing stencils for some pre-writing activities. Here is another case where I use a different design software and I imported it into Glowforge Aura. And then I actually ended up using some of Glowforge Aura's functions too, so I used a combination. So for this project, I wanted to create some stencils for pre-writing strokes. So pre-writing strokes has a lot of curves and lines that you do. So I wanted to make some stencils that worked on those skills before writing. And I definitely wanted to make it something very durable, which is why I chose the acrylic. I thought that would work really well to make a long lasting project. All right, I got my base set up here on my template and I ended up taking it into Glowforge Aura and adding all of the lines to cut out. And then once again, push print on my little printer and look at it go. This one's looking really good. You have to see this. So I got all of the masking off and here is our finished product on acrylic, on black acrylic. Here is our little zigzag squiggle line. We have this one here, slanted lines, straight lines, and our little bumps and curved lines. Love this and then look, they all stack up nice and neat too. They look so cool. There are so many different projects that you can do on the Glowforge and I am just skimming the surface. There is a feature where you can take a picture and have it engrave the picture. I have some upcoming learning projects in the future. I love making my own learning supplies. So I definitely will show you what I'm making. I hope you've been inspired to make your own learning activities at home. You gotta tell me some ideas to make with this next. I am very excited at the possibilities. I'm gonna put another video up here on the screen for you to go watch next. I will see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love. Thanks to Glowforge for sponsoring today's video.